Hi, this is Marto. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Alexei Alexandrov and Alexander Riaz Einzel. It's a game from World Rapid Chess Championship played in Qatar in 2016. Alexandrov had white pieces and he started with d4. Riaz Einzel played e6, c4, knight to f6, knight to c3, and now, very popular, bishop to b4, Nimzo Indian defense. e3, going for the Rubenstein variation. Ria Zaintsev castled kingside. Knight to e2, so if bishop takes knight, knight takes bishop. d5, a3, black to move. Bishop to d6 was played. Bishop to e7 is actually the most played move. Bishop to d6, but now c5, attacking the bishop and gaining the space on the board. Bishop to e7, b4, b6, knight to f4, in order to develop his light square bishop. a5, bishop to d2, a takes on b4, a takes on b4, rook takes rook, queen takes rook, knight to c6, and now queen to a4, attacking the knight. This is a very interesting moment of the game. Black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Hmm? What is the best move for black? Here Zainzev played e5. Very nice move. If bishop to d7, then b5. And after knight to a5, c6, bishop to c8. And white has a huge space advantage. So we have 5. Queen takes knight. Pawn takes knight on f4. White move. Pawn takes pawn on f4. Perhaps better was bishop to d3. And white is closer to castling. However, Alexandro wanted to win the pawn. Bishop to d7. Queen to b7. B takes on c5. B takes on c5. Black to move. This is now the critical position of the game. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Hmm? I guess rook to e8 looks like a very logical move. In the rook with white king. Do you agree? Probably white would play then bishop to e3. There was a surprise. Bishop takes pawn on c5, sacrificing the bishop for the attack. D takes on c5, and now d4, attacking the knight. Knight to e2, because the rook is coming to e8. Rook to e8, white is a piece up, but two of his pieces are not activated. Bishop to a5, threatening queen takes pawn on c7. How to defend the pawn? Ria Zantsev played bishop to c8, attacking the queen. Queen takes on c7, and now queen d5. Among other threats, there is d3 winning the knight. Queen to d1. How would you continue this position if you had black pieces? Hmm? Queen to b3 check was played. King to c1. Black to move. Black played the move, and white resigned. The move is... Bishop to f5. White resigned in view of this continuation. Knight takes on d4. Queen to b1 check. King to d2. Queen to e1 checkmate. And if king goes to d2, queen to c2 check. King to e1. And then queen to c1 checkmate. Wow, that was a very nice attack. By Rias and Seva. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.